So you may all notice that we're back on Soul 16, yeah. Um, <laughs> you may be wondering why we're here. Well, there's nothing bad, nothing bad has happened. Usually it's something bad that has happened when I start talking like this. Not sure why, but you know. Anyway, oh my gosh, look at those two moons in the background. Anyway, that's not what matters. Today we're going to be doing some farming, yes. So actually, while I was on this planet, when I first came here, and I came to this biome, I was like, what can I do with this biome? What can I do with all these mushrooms? And the answer is, we can make more mushrooms. I'm not sure how we can make more mushrooms. I think we can, and I think we will because, you know, it is possible, definitely, to grow more mushrooms. And I've done it before. I'm not sure that it was efficient at all. So, alrighty, so let's decide on where this place is gonna go. Now, I have tried clearing out this area. I didn't wanna because I like how stony it is. It kinda fits in with that area. But we could, we could flatten this area. So we're gonna flatten out this area. That's my plan. We're just gonna make this hill a bit more level. And then we're going to start building a massive structure on top of it after we clear everything out. So let's let's get started with this time lapse. I don't know that we're going to get started building today. I think we're just going to be um, flattening out the terrain for now. So, as you all saw in that time lapse, we uh, we completely flattened this area out. This is a big enough area, albeit kind of not what I wanted. I wanted to go more, but you know I don't have time for more. So we're gonna we're gonna work with what we got here. We we got a bit of um space, just a just a slight bit. So I'm thinking we'll have a road that runs up that hill. I'll mark that out with some dirt pillars, I guess, or something. I don't know. We'll just we'll just uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep this in mind for the future, because I'm not doing this today. I don't have the resources for it right now. don't have, you know, anything like that. And we'll probably make the area around this stone. So, there we go. We got a bit of a road pathed out. Uh, yeah, we now need to start building. And usually, on this planet, I, I just use iron blocks for the most part. It, it may not look like iron blocks because of chisel, but it is technically still iron blocks. I, of course, do have some new things, though. I brought some quartz. I have some terracotta, of course. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use some quartz today, I think. I don't- I've been a while since I've used quartz in one of these builds. We got bricks. Bricks are actually pretty nice. I like the bricks. Um, I don't know if it fits in with the spacey theme, but, you know, it's- it's, it's space enough. So we're gonna probably go for, like, a, a bit of a semicircle here, I think. And then we could do like an iron roof, like a hangar. That'd be pretty cool. This definitely is not gonna have enough space. We're gonna have to ch chisel out more of the mountain or extend over that way. Now, I do like how some of these builds are actually on, you know, big tower kind of things, big pillars and things just off the ground. They're not like on the ground where they have like a foundation on the ground. No, they, they just have pillars that are on the ground and things like that. 
So we might do that for this build. It's gonna be a bit bigger, but that would look kind of cool. Alright, so this is what I got so far. We got some corrugated metal here. It looks kind of nice. Now, I didn't expect this to look much like a hanger, but this metal actually makes it look like a hanger. Very nice. Alright, so now I'm gonna start laying out a bit of a foundation because we're not gonna have enough space here for sure. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just get started with the foundation area because that is, uh, that will tell us what we need to do in the future. And this is, this is not good because look at this. You don't, you don't do this. Don't put blocks straight on grass. Just make sure that nobody sees where it's on. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the reason why I don't like that is because you would need to extend it downwards. But we don't want to extend this downwards because it's a hanger. It's all supposed to be uniform. The metal can't be longer in one spot than another. Um, the question is, what kind of mushroom farm are we doing? There's all kinds of mushroom farms, and I, I honestly don't know which one we're going to do. Well, well, the real question is, how do you get a mushroom? You can get it from a phytogenic insulator. And how do you get one of... Okay, looks pretty simple. Machine frames, lumium. Lumium, we need to go cast because we don't have any lumium. So let's go make some lumium. We can get some shroom powder from some toadstool. Yes, we're definitely going to have to make a lot of lumium for this. I think we're going to make... Quite a bit because you know I I, I kind of want to see what this uh, stuff does first though. Okay, what did, what did it say? It said one zero point one. Oh yes, <laughs> awesome. Oh man, I really wanted some of that. Okay, well I guess we're gonna make some toadstool farms because that is epic. <laughs> uh, lumium comes from here, I believe. Well, uh, how do we make lumium? Casting, tell me about lumium, alloying, silver, tin, energized, glowstone. Oh, well, don't worry, because there's a bucket right up here. It's been sitting there for ages. Just ages, okay. Oh, get in the... No. Go in the thingy. Yeah, go go in the thingy. No, go in the thing. You're, you're supposed to go in the thing. I'm going to use some tin plates to make this go faster, because I don't have any other stuff on me, but... That should still do. We got some Electrum in there from when I had to make Electrum for an energy cell to power the um, thing. And we're gonna do this. To get this stuff in there, we have to... There we go. Okay, pour it out. We'll only have enough for one gear, but we, we're gonna need like a few because I want to make quite a bit of mushrooms. Alright, so we need more energized glowstone. That's our issue. We're going to the nether because this is where I got the energized glowstone in the first place. You see, in the nether, there is, um, occasionally you'll run into some interesting energized glowstone that just kind of, why is, why is it backwards? We, we want the, we want the good suit, and all these, uh, pigmen are actually kind of angry at me, so we, we don't really want to deal with them. What the heck is this formation of brambles? This is, this isn't, I've never seen anything like this before. This is just wacky, and there's, there's another one down here that's doing the same thing. So if you're looking for this stuff, okay, there we go. We've got some on the horizon. Now, at first, when I first saw this stuff, I was a little confused because I was like, "What the heck is this?" Yeah, but it turns out it's just energized glowstone. It's pretty nice. Um, I do have a bucket or a tank in case we need to store quite a bit of it. I doubt we're gonna find that much because it is pretty rare. Phyto grow is actually a product of slag, and you can only get slag from the induction smelter. Except for the pyro concentrator, apparently, because you can melt gold. You get oh what? So cinnabar, you take cinnabar and cinnabar and gold, you get a seventy-five percent of getting a rich slag. We're gonna need a lot of these induction smelters, though. These induction smelters, they're the way to go. We need Invar for these, so we're going to be making a lot of alloys today. Invar is made by nickel and iron. The only issue is that nickel is ridiculously hard to get, and I only have six pieces of it. But don't worry, because silver is also pretty hard to get, and I have like 64 pieces of it. Uh, we'll take some of that, actually. We'll take more of that. Oh, you know what? Um, we'll, we'll, no, we'll not take the whole stack. I was, I was going to say we were going to take the whole stack, but no. We're going over to here now. We're going to smelt it all down. Alrighty, we got some Lumium coming in. 
two blocks of Lumium. So we'll get started with that. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's, okay, we'll go here. And look at this, there's all these floating iron ingots just melting into the great melting bin. Perfect. Alright, so I reckon we're gonna need about 30 of these. And that's pretty much it. Three of them, not 30. I don't, I, I might have said 30 there, but definitely three. Okay, so we got that done. Now we're gonna need to make the invar. We have four blocks of invar. Okay, we're gonna get started by pouring it out via this big bin. Big bin is good. Redstone torch goes here, and the whole thing is automatic. I assume. I don't remember if it is or not. I don't... Oh, no. We're out of invar. How are we out of invar? Go in the hole. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know that we're actually going to do anything else this episode, because th this has been a bit of a... Um, quite a journey. We've had to get some... L lumium. Very difficult to make. Very difficult to pronounce. We had to get some invar... Which is, uh, pretty simple, you know? We, we already had the resources for that. But now, next episode, we're gonna start actually making the machines, laying everything out, hopefully. And maybe even doing some more time lapses. I tend to do these time lapses every other episode. I, I don't know why. It just seems kinda like the... A, a normal thing to do. I don't know. I, I can't really explain it, but, you know, I just do that. Okay, we got some problems. The system isn't working, apparently. Never mind, it is actually working. Uh, okay, well, it, it, it poured, it, it did its thing. That's all I need. So now we'll, we'll have enough invar for a few blast furnaces. Alright, so if you all have enjoyed today's episode, you know, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. If you guys got any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. I'll see you all next time, and I just found this new machine. I, I forgot I had this, but I think this is important for something.